Welcome to Digits, I'm Simon Constable. How can you keep hold of your laptop or your ultra laptop book or your tablet when you're traveling? We have some advice for you from Intel Ambassador Mike Fart. He joins us now from Santa Clara, California. Um, Mike, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, <clears throat> this is particularly appropriate because Heathrow is a bit of a, Heathrow Airport in London is a bit of a center for crime, right? That's right, Simon. Thank you for having me on. Uh, we, we did look at uh, a, a few surveys here, uh, one of them by the Panama Institute that shows that on average about 900 laptops are stolen from Heathrow Airport every week. And so we know that security is really top of mind, especially now that people are traveling uh, with summer season and of course the a big sporting event that's about to uh, happen today, starting today. So uh, we do find that people have a lot of investment in their uh, technology devices, particularly their laptops, their tablets, their ultrabooks, because people carry so much more of their personal information than they ever have on mm. their devices. So, uh, so we do find that uh, it's a bit of an anxiety point for them losing their device or having their personal data stolen. So if it, lest anyone would think that this is a small problem, according to the Ponemon Institute, um, an average of 900 laptops are stolen weekly at just Heathrow, which is just one of London's massive airports, right? That's right, absolutely. Yeah, we, we do find that uh, e more and more people are becoming targets of theft uh, of, of technology. And again, because of the fact that they have so much invested in these things they're connected more connected than ever as they're traveling uh, there's a lot of there's this sense of uh, uh, threat to their personal security as well as actually losing their devices and as a, as a matter of fact one of the the research uh, studies that intel did uh, recently found that more people are anxious about losing their laptop and ultrabook than losing their wedding ring wow that is really quite something, isn't it? Um, I guess it depends on the value of the uh, the Ultrabook, doesn't it? So t t tell us some, some tips for travelers who are going to be going to the London Olympics or in general for traveling. Yeah, uh, three top things to, to really keep in mind is definitely you want to keep your, your device close to you at all times. Don't let anybody watch your device if you run off to the restroom, et cetera. Uh, one of the other things you can do is use a screen shield to make sure that people aren't peeking over your shoulders, which talks to this phrase that we've coined, the peeping text phenomenon, this, this fear of people watching over your shoulders, uh, learning your passwords, et cetera. Uh, so take those types of precautions, but also be aware of which Wi-Fi networks you're connecting to. Make sure it's a trusted source. Don't connect to just any open Wi-Fi uh, that's available. A lot of them are set up to fish for your personal information and to compromise your security. And then the other thing, the, the, the other thing you can do is, for example, with an Ultrabook device, you get different technology uh, capabilities like uh, Intel anti-theft technology, which lets you, in the case of a laptop theft or losing your laptop, you're able to call up your service provider or go to a website to either locate your device or shut it down completely so that your data isn't compromised. So um, you mentioned the peeping, the peeping, looking over people's shoulders. Uh, apparently, um, young people are the problem here. Um, more than half, 51% of young adults admit to peeping at someone else's screen. And it's 33% of travelers overall. That's a high portion. That's right. We do, we do find that even though people have this fear of people looking over their shoulders, a lot of people actually admit to peeping over other people's shoulders. So, so this, this notion of, of keeping your data safe applies to everybody, but definitely for young people as well, since they're more connected than any generation before them, uh, they, they're constantly online. So this sense of security is, is one of those things that's more and more important every day. And that's one of the things we're trying to find as a result of these surveys is how do we make our technology more secure, give people more peace of mind as they're traveling, and uh, make sure that their data is safe wherever they are? 